Couldn't do anything in Odessa either. Couldn't speak to anyone there. So I ran to Kiev. Uh, maybe they'll lose me in Kiev. When I got to Kiev, I got off the train and a policeman grabbed me by the arm. Come on, we've been waiting for you for a while. They took me to my hotel. Leave unless you let us know first. I stayed in the hotel that day. And the next day I wanted to go out to the market. The police was still following me. I got very ill. And they took me and checked me into the hospital. A doctor came in. The syringe was one of those that you used to give to cows in the old days. He gave me a shot and it hurt worse than I'd ever dreamed it would. He says, now he'll sleep. I gave him a good one. I understood what they were saying. And the man just barely got out of the room. And I passed out. I slept until the next morning. The next morning I heard somebody knocking on the door. Who's there? Doctor. When I heard the word doctor, nothing hurt anymore anyway. I didn't even know I was ill. I said, but no matter what, I'm still not going to get another shot. So he asks, how are you, Dimitru? Oh, well. Do you still hurt? No. You need another shot or something? So give one to yourself, I don't need it. But it wasn't the same doctor. It was a different one. The doctor sends the nurse away. He walks into the room and he locks the door. He walks to me and he hugs me. And he says, Peace of God unto you, brother Dimitru. He said, An angel of the Lord came in my dream last night. And he showed me in a dream that you were here and I was supposed to come and get you out. I'll draw up some papers that you'll be checked in. I'll give a paper to the policeman who's waiting outside and I'll leave one with the office and then I'll sneak you out the back and then we'll go. And that's exactly how it happened, brother. I wasn't checked into the hospital. Instead, I traveled all of Kiev without the police following me. God sent a Baptist pastor. And that's the man that got me out. In our travels, he also showed me how the Bibles were getting there. And for me, it was a great joy. But when I got home from Kiev, my house was surrounded by the police. They were holding my wife with her face against the wall. They tied me and put me with my face against the wall. They began checking the house at 8 in the morning. And they finished at 4 in the evening. They came with all kinds of equipment. They were looking for Bibles. I had very many Bibles at my house. But at four, a colonel comes to me and he says, Dimitri, turn around, please. Where do you have your Bibles at? You know, I honestly thought they'd found them. Did you find them? Well, no. If you didn't find them, I don't have them, I said. They said, yeah, but where'd you have all those Bibles at? They said, yeah, but where'd you hide all those Bibles at? What Bibles? I don't have a Bible press, sir. Said, don't worry, you'll tell us what you ate when you were a child even. They put me in the car and took me to the police station. And that's where the tortures began. First they asked me to confess. Tell them where I had the Bibles from how I got them into Russia and who helped me take them there. But in my ear, there was still that same voice from the ship. Dimitri, don't tell. Dimitri, don't confess. Dimitri, I am with you. I will save you. I said nothing. Because I wasn't saying anything. They took me and threw me into a very dark room. It was so dark that I couldn't see the walls even. You'll be here until you confess. They locked the door and took off. After a while, I heard somebody open another door. 
Băi, zic, ce capcan au ăștia? I began to think what sort of traps could they have in here. Dar au un țepe de șobolan. But then I began to hear a squeak, like a rat squeak. Băi, zic, ce animale au? And what sort of animals could they have in here? Se încă pe mine. And then I felt it crawl up my leg. Când am pus mâna, un When I touched it, animal. it was a rat about this big. Dar dam unul, doi și poate zece să urcă. I'd take one or two off, maybe ten or crawl back Așa on. Așa de tare m-am speriat. I was so terrified. Că-am speriat că ce-am putut. That I yelled as loud as I could. Doamne, nu m-a lăsat. Da, don't let me down. Era strigat așa sau a prins o lumină puternică. When I said this, an intense light appeared in the room. De lumină am auzit o voce. And out of the light, I heard a voice. Dumitru, nu te tem. Dumitru, don't be afraid. Dumitru, uite-te la mine. Dumitru, look at me. Când a ridicat capul să mă uit. When I raised my head to look. Așa puternică a fost lumina. The light was so powerful. Că a căzut cu fața la pământ. That it threw me on the ground. Și ți-am spus să te uiți la mine. He said, I told you to look at me. Tu cine ești tu? I said, who are you? Eu sunt îngerul Gabriel. I am the angel Gabriel. Sunt mesagerul cerului. I am the messenger of heaven. Mai chemat să am venit în ajutorul meu. I have come to help you. Deci nu te tem. Don't be afraid. Deci ai de trecut prin martor. You will go through many trials. Dar te scot din mâna lor și te duc în America. But I'll take out of their hands and take you into America. Ia uite-te tu în jos. Look down, he said. Când m-am uitat în jos. When I looked down. Șobolanii erau morți la pământ. The whole floor was covered with dead rats. În timpul ce au dispărut lumina. At that time the light disappeared. Eu mai tare m-am speriat. And I became even more terrified. Nu odată m-am mânânci șobolan. And they intended these rats to eat me. De odată au venit un polițar au deschis ușa. A policeman came and opened the door. Am întrebat tu mai trăiești? And he asked, still alive in there? Zic da, m-a zis să mă mânânci șobolan. I said, yeah, did you try to have me dinner for the rats? Atunci au venit nu știu cu ce m-au lovit în cap. The man came and he hit me over the head. Că eu am căzut jos. I fell down. M-a tras de picioare afară. He pulled me out by the feet. Și m-a dus în altă cameră. And took me into another room. M-a legat de la mijloc. Tied me by the waist. Pulled me up on a pulley. And with rubber hoses, they beat my feet. They throw water on me. And after I'd get better, they'd ask me to confess. Mă punea cu fața în jos. They lay me face flat. Punea o scândură pe mine. Put a board over me. Și cinci șase polițari bătea cu pare în scândură. And five or six. Until blood will come out my nose and my mouth. Again they throw water on me. And again ask me to confess. They stick my hand in the door. And poke me with pins under my fingernails. For five months they did all sorts of experiments. Dar în urechea mea au sunat în continuu. But in my ear there was always that voice. Dumitru, să nu spui. Dumitru, don't tell. Dumitru, să nu recunoști. Dumitru, don't confess. Dumitru, eu sunt cu tine. Dumitru, I am with you. După cinci luni de zile de tortură. After five months of torture. M-au dus în altă cameră alături. They took me to a room. Acolo aveau un scaun de o să bide alte scaune. And there they had a very strange looking chair. Tu vezi scaunul ăsta, băi? Do you see this chair? Zic, da, îl văd. Yes, I do. Din Germania l-am adus pentru tine. Well, we brought this from Germany especially for you. Spune că acolo mor. Tell us or you'll die on it. Zic, chiar dacă mor, n-am ce să spun. Even if I die, I have nothing to tell you. M-au legat cu mâinile la spate de scaun. They tied my hands on the chair. M-au legat de picioare roate. They tied my feet around it. Mi-au pus în cap o oală cu aparat. They put a bowl on my head. Mi-au băgat și într-o ureche și în altă. Plug two things in my ears. Și acum gândește-te bine ce ai făcut. Now think what you've done. Când mori. You're about to die. And when they turned it on, brothers, I felt such an intense shock. I couldn't feel my tongue in my mouth anymore. I couldn't see with my eyes anymore either. And when I thought I'm about to die, again the same light appeared. It was the same man. Dimitri, don't be afraid. Dimitri, you will not die. Plead the blood of Jesus. And I began to say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I don't know how long I said it for. When I woke up, I was covered with blood. And they were throwing water on me. Do you know that you've confessed? Ia să auzi tu, că aparatele noastre ți-au înregistrat gândul tău. Listen to yourself, our equipment recorded everything you said. Când au dat drumul la aparate, ne-am auzit vocea mea. I heard my voice. Sângele lui Iisus, sângele lui Iisus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Sângele lui Iisus obirit. The blood of Jesus was victorious. Nu eu. Not I. Iisus. But it was Jesus. Haleluia! Haleluia! De ce dormiți? Why do you sleep? Dacă vă văd că scăpați capul de oți, o strâng aleluia. If I see you sleeping, you know I yell haleluia. După a doua zi l-au adus pe Maria. The next day they brought in Maria. Maria, tu vrei să dau drumul lui Dumitru? Maria, would you like us to let Dumitru go? Și da, cum să nu vreau? Oh, yes, of course I do. Maria, Dumitru a spus tot. Well, Maria, Dumitru's confessed. 
He told us who he has his Bibles, told us who brought him the Bibles, how he got him to Russia, and even who helped him take him. You write it down here also. I won't let Dimitri go. But God wouldn't let Maria tell.